Okay, so last lesson, as you might remember, we got to the point where we've got this little kind of library screen where you can kind of pan up and down and pan across to see your albums. I'm going to click the play button again. So you can kind of imagine you'd be able to do that with your phone, moving across, sort of scrolling down, you know, clicking on your various features. So you can kind of see how that's uh, starting to look a little more like a, a nice polished library. Uh, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to Alt and drag this one across. So this is in the instance that perhaps you have uh, imagined that you've tapped on one of the albums and now you want to kind of see the contents of that album. Um, and yeah, well, that's pretty much it really. You want to see the contents of that album and perhaps play the songs. So I'm going to go ahead and delete all of this. Uh, I'm going to delete all of those. I'm going to turn this off. Um, Remove all of that, get all of that. So this is the this is the instance that, of course, you've uh, clicked on this album, and perhaps you want to let's move that out of the way. Have the album like nice and large, perhaps, um, perhaps something like that. Uh, and then you want the album information, uh, and then perhaps you want all of the uh, the songs underneath that. So oh, let's actually let's slot that behind, so it's kind of like a, a nice little design feature there. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and we'll set the title for this album. So we'll call it, uh, oh, what's the actual album called? Oh, Drake. Okay. Yep. Uh, so yeah, Drake. Um, he's pretty popular these days. Um, and yeah, let's perhaps slot the album name over here. We could maybe right align that. Um, so this is where you start thinking about um, hierarchy. Uh, and then you could perhaps like, you know, sort of create like a bit of a dividing line over here so that you've kind of got the, the album, the name and the artist. Now we want to have all of the songs that are with, within that album. So we're going to create a little box. And so this is going to be a component that we're going to repeat. So let's give it no fill. Uh, and now let's um, yeah add some text in. Let's just call it song name goes here, and we'll make that uh, right aligned. Um, Drake. Um, yeah, I think that should be it. You know, imagine that the album's already there, and maybe we could just. Uh, a little play component, um, maybe make it really small. We'll, we'll turn off our little responsive resize. What's that manual mean? Hmm. Yeah, maybe let's. This is when you kind of double click on it and you can just make little edits which kind of break the component. Um, but yeah, so hopefully that's. Uh, yeah, your little play button there. So now you want to repeat that. So imagine that you've got 12 songs. You don't want to be copying and pasting and then aligning it. So let's, maybe we'll make that, uh, we could make the song name perhaps white and the Drake could be sort of the secondary in the navigation there. So let's click on this now. We're going to make that a component. And this is just going to be called, um, you know, song tile. Uh, and then you've got this repeat grid, which is up here. So you can click on that and we can just go down and you can see it automatically repeats that grid. Um, yeah, almost infinitely. Well, infinitely until you, until you stop scrolling, literally. Um, so you can see that that goes in front. So again, we're just going to send that to the back so that it's behind. Um, and that's effectively it, really. Um, so yeah, you could perhaps within your components, if I was to right click and go edit main component, it's going to take me over here. I could click a little default state. I could click a toggle here and say in the toggle state, I want you to perhaps make this button larger like that. And yeah, let's just, just for the sake of it, let's make it green. Um, yeah, I think that looks kind of cool. Uh, yeah, 
So, and perhaps uh, while we're edit the, editing this component, maybe we could kind of bring it in. Now, what happens if we switch that? There we go. All right, so let's let's see have, have a look at what this uh, looks like. I'm going to click the play button. So you're going to yeah be able to kind of scroll down. You can perhaps click and yeah look at that. That looks kind of cool. And it just does these like little auto animations to to make it look a little smoother, a little neater. Um, and then you could of course click your little play button there. Um, so that's effectively it. You've created a nice little uh, little thing over there. Now it's uh, time to move on to this prototype uh, region. So we're going to click on prototype over here. So that's how you connect all of these different screens together. So what we're going to do is now you're in this prototype area, you can click on this button and tell it to go to there. You can click on this button and tell it to go to there. You can click on this album, so double click on it and tell it to go to there. Um, you know, you might maybe do that with all of the instances of this album. Uh, and then perhaps you can click on your little home button and that'll send you back to there. You could click on perhaps this music button and that'll send you to there. And this is when you start doing heaps of wireframing. Now it's pretty basic here. Um, yeah, because um, we've only got four screens, but you imagine you've got lots and lots of screens. Being able to see how all of these um, move to the next component uh, is really, really effective. Uh, so let's go ahead and I'm going to go back to design. I'm going to click on this one. And now let's click the play button. So you've gone into audio, mate. You're going to click sign in. You're going to enter your little text. You don't need to enter the text. It's not a working app. So there's ways to, to show that, but you could probably just keep that there. Clicking on signing in. You're going to scroll down, you know, sort of pan across, clicking on your album there clicking on your songs and you can kind of see, oh yeah, there's a, there's a bit of an issue. If you click on two songs, it plays them both at the same time. So fiddle with that. I'm not going to try to troubleshoot that for now. Uh, but yeah, just moving around the app, clicking on the play buttons, perhaps clicking back home, seeing where that takes you. Um, what happens when you click here? Perhaps you could, in your prototype, you could say that when they click on this button, let's go to the prototype, that's going to send you over here, things like that. Um, yeah, with your transition, you could, uh, yeah, do a little, um, hmm. so say with, with this transition, you know, you could slide right, push left and start having a bit of a play around with that. Um, but that is effectively it. Uh, so, and then going forward from here, um, you could say, well, look, I don't really like how the blue and the green works. So maybe I never really have liked this green. So maybe let's change that to a sort of a light blue, and you can see that all of a sudden it's really easy to uh, start changing things around. So you change that back to a solid color, and you could maybe make that. So there you go, you've, you've completely changed the entire look and feel of your application uh, just by a few clicks. So again, you could sort of plus that, um, have a look around, clicking on these things, clicking through, clicking on your plus button. So that's effectively it. There's some more advanced skills. So you've got your little toggle effects. Uh, obviously, you would have seen um, in these buttons over here, you've also got hover effects. Naturally, hover effects aren't going to provide you much help uh, with, your, with a phone because you can't hover. Uh, so yeah, you'd be looking at your toggle states. There's a heap more states, but um, yeah, this should get you to be able to do almost... 90% of what you would want to do in an inter interactive experience design using Adobe XD. So all the best. Next lesson, we're going to talk about sharing that and how to uh, set up little tasks for your audience to do some user-centered feedback um, and produce surveys and get those survey response and start getting some really great data on how people interact. Do they get lost? Uh, are they able to find their way and navigate through the application in the way that you hope that they would? So all the best for that. And um, yeah, see you next time.